What's going on Salt Strong Nation? I've got a fun story for you guys that might help you catch some more flounder on your next trip out on the flats. Now, most of my flounder fishing is done off of depth changes and edges and cuts and things of that nature. I don't normally fish for them up in the flats. I'll be honest with you, I haven't quite figured out how to pick the right potholes for them, but I know that they're there. And a lot of times when I'm fishing for redfish and black drum up on the flats, I will see them kind of spook off. But again, I'm used to kind of jigging for them and it's not my approach to go for those flounder that are sitting in those shallow potholes. But I had a little bit of a tackle mistake that actually ended up helping me catch more fish and I wanted to share it with you guys today. So maybe if you do want to go out on the flats and try and target some of these flounder, you can use what I learned from this trip and have some success. So to give you a summary of what happened, I was fishing top water all morning and when I came upon a school of redfish and black drum, I quickly tried to change lures to my paddle tail and normally I use an eighth ounce hook when I'm fishing in these big schools or I'm sight fishing just because it's a little bit easier to control than a heavier weight, rides a little bit higher so I can see it through the water as I'm trying to kind of line up that shot on the fish and in my haste I grabbed a 3 16 ounce hook which is going to make that lure ride a little bit lower in the water. Now all these potholes that are surrounding the edge of the flat that I was fishing were filled with flounder. I didn't know this at the time but as that lure was a little bit closer to the bottom the flounder were more apt to chase it down. In fact the first flounder that I caught I saw it chase the lure and I thought it was a redfish but it being a little bit closer to the bottom was all those flounder needed to just chase that lure down and, and commit to it. Now higher up in the column they might see that as a little bit more of a task to chase down and get after. The effort that they would expend to maybe get a meal might not be worth it but with that 3 16 I started catching a lot more flounder. In fact I caught two really solid sized flounder that day hooked up with a few smaller ones as well but the big key here was that lure was a little bit lower in the water. So on your next flats fishing trip when you go out and you might be fishing some of these same potholes if you're interested in targeting flounder try to put some of those paddle tails I've been using small 3.5 inch slam shadies on one of those 3 16 size hooks. There's a lot of small bait around and it's riding really low to the grass so a lot of these flounder are expecting to see that bait coming over these potholes and it just turns into a really easy meal for them. So again just a really slow retrieve. You don't want to zip it too fast especially if you're after flounder because they do have a kind of cone field of vision and if you whip that lure too fast over that pothole it might not have enough time to see it as it passes over. So instead of just burning that paddle tail really hard just a slow retrieve like I was doing when I was sight fishing for these reds and ended up picking up a bunch of flounder you're just going to give that real slow constant retrieve and a lot of times you will find these flounders sitting in these potholes. So again quick tip that was an actual mistake that helped me catch more fish. Thought I'd share it with you guys because uh, it worked out pretty well for me but if you want to pick up any of the hooks or the paddle tails that I'm talking about we do have them in the Salt Strong shop at 20% off for Salt Strong insiders. So I hope this tip helps you catch more flounder and thank you again so much for watching. And if you're new to Salt Strong just know we're the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're going to help you catch more inshore fish, save money on tackle, and make friends fast. Or it's free. So we're looking forward to seeing you guys in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon and thanks again for watching.